It's June 1971. I had been collecting comics since December, six months earlier, and reading comics for a couple of years at that point. But uh, by this point, I was going every week to the Wharton Paper Store on South Main Street, just uh, below where I was. Anyway, my family and I took a vacation to Block Island, a neat little island off the coast of Rhode Island, for a week. We arrived on Sunday afternoon, and the following Monday morning, I rented a bike for 50 cents a day. Uh, my parents paid for it, very generous. And I decided I was going to explore the island without my brother and sister because I was looking for one thing, comic books. Yes, I had to have my weekly fix of comic books. And so on that Monday, I biked around the main tourism area, the downtown area, a lot of the just little mom and pop stores, uh, grocery stores, little things like that, and uh, asked all the time for comics. Do you have comic books? No, no, you could try this store. Go down the road a half a mile. Go here, go there. Tuesday, the same thing. I looked, I went everywhere, even found a yard sale on the island. Uh, no luck, no comic books. Uh, by Wednesday, I was starting to get a little desperate. And um, I took another rental bike out, went out again, looking for comics, gone for four or five hours. My parents were like, well, what you been doing all day? Oh, biking around, you know, looking for uh, new friends. Oh, okay, well, that's good. Just be back by dinner, which I was. I searched and I searched. And finally, on Saturday afternoon, I gave up. The tiny little island had no comic books anywhere. I started drawing pictures of covers that I had or covers that I wish they would have. Well, by Saturday afternoon, we came back to New Jersey, and but it was late and the stores were closed. The paper stores were all closed. When they opened Sunday morning at 5.30, guess what 10-year-old was there? They looked shocked to see me, but I went to the second room and in the back was a rack full of comics. And these are the books that I picked up. They were all dated September of 1971, as it was June. And I went home and read every one of them in a matter of hours. But I also realized that there was no turning back. And I was hopelessly addicted to comic books. Now, that was 53 years ago. Is that right? Yeah. And I can tell you the same thing now. When I go on vacation, I still look for comics. I'm Alan Garrett of Aptic Comics. Thanks for listening.